We're at the corner of 3rd Avenue and 140th Street in the Bronx, the most diverse borough in the city and the county that ranks 62 out of 62, last in health outcomes across all New York State. To address this disparity, in 2021, the American Heart Association's National Hypertension Control Initiative began collaborating with Damien Family Care Centers, a federally qualified health center serving a large Latino and Black population to launch a blood pressure program for their patients. Today, we're going to meet some of the team behind the program and a patient who has been empowered to take control of his health by managing the silent killer, high blood pressure. Hi, uh, my name is Sadia Chaudhuri. I am the Chief Quality and Compliance Officer at Damien. Uh, I oversee the uh, Self-Measured Blood Pressure Monitor Program at Damien. We have 350 patients enrolled in this program. I will say this program has been tremendously successful and we continue to offer this program to our hypertensive patients. My name is Michael Fabray. I am from the Bronx and I'm 33 years old. I've been living with hypertension stage one uh, and throughout the year. Currently, I'm actually normal. I've lost over 100 pounds. I've been working out. I've been taking consideration more in my health. Uh, my eating habits have improved. And it's great for your mental health. So the SMBV program is giving patients the authority like to take control of their health but at home you'll be your own doctor you'll be checking your blood pressure and once you're checking your blood pressure we give you the material you can see when your blood pressure is high and when it's low so you are the person in charge of your health i'm definitely in control uh now you know when i look in the mirror i actually smile um from not only from the weight loss but how far i've come changing those little habits that you have and enroll into a program like this, and you know you have the, your team actually messaging you through the app, or they give you a phone call when your numbers are off to make sure you're okay. Obviously, there's people who care about you, even though you know you don't feel that way. So our community is predominantly Latinos and African Americans that have a lot of social disparities. You know, lack of housing, uh, food. Um, they don't have the best quality of life. And so I think they like that, you know, that someone's actually tracking them and actually cares about their health. Everyone deserves quality care and they're not always getting that in these neighborhoods. People don't understand that uh, living in New York uh, is not always fast tracked. It's, you know, the city that never sleeps. People don't have the opportunity to stop and slow down and check on themselves first before anything. And being in a program like this does help where I'm constantly thinking about work or my next step or life and being here is very stressful enough. So this gives me a step back to, to put myself first before anything. 